Good morning, my friends. It's bright and early Monday morning, and I wanted to do a couple product reviews. Uh, I'm not real big big on doing this because I'm not trying to front anybody. Um, and I'm not getting anything from it. Uh, I paid full value for it. Uh, the first is my dehydrator, and uh, I'm going to pull this to the side here. It's my Nutribullet. Uh, but this is, um, it's called, the name is Vivo Home. And uh, I bought it on uh, Amazon, and I think we paid um, right around $60 for it. We have Prime uh, Amazon, so, you know, there was no uh, cost of shipping. But I've been using it now for well, pretty close to a year. And I really like it. I mean, I think it's just, uh, I had a, uh, an American harvester for 30 some years and that worked like a champ. But this, I have to say, is, is pretty good. And uh, I like the little um, oblong trays. Uh, things kind of lay out nicer. And uh, it came with a nice book on, you know, how to use it, etc., etc. It's very, it's, it's easy. Um, there's a... Um, I'll show you. You plug it in. Oops. I can get my plug right. There you go. And um, your dials come up and it shows you how many hours and then the temperature. And you can go, you know, from like zero to, um, I want to say it's, let me just, there the set. 10 hours, uh, it goes up to, I don't know if it goes up to 24. Well, that's quite quite a lot. Oops, and then, then it's gonna go back to, to a half hour. Well, it goes back to, yeah, 30 minutes. And then your, um, again, you can then set the temperature and the temperature goes from uh, 95 up to 158 and uh, and then I'll run it here just a minute let so you can hear I mean it's not a really loud uh, uh, you know it doesn't make a whole lot of noise like uh, this is our this is our kitchen but our living room is right over over here over there and, uh, you know, if it was real loud, you'd, you really wouldn't want to have to listen to that. Uh, but, of course, you could plug it in anywhere. So, um, I'm just going to turn that back off. And uh, show you that it comes with, you know, a, a top to it. And it comes with actually one, two, three. Wait, say one, two three, four, five trays. I'm, I'm actually dehydrating. Uh, I was making mashed potatoes and I thought, well, I have to peel my mashed potatoes. Mashed, to me, I don't mind keeping uh, fruit in the freezer that is uh, banana peels and strawberries, but there's something about potato skins that they kind of rot quickly, and uh, if you've ever put potato skins uh, in your in your worm bin, you know that it's kind of like putting broccoli or any of those other things that that boy they really they really have kind of a, a pungent, very earthy smell to them. And I said, oh, I think I'll I'll try dehydrating them, and uh, this was just uh, of course they're pretty thin, but uh, this was like six, seven hours at about 120. So it, it was pr went pretty fast. And then I just want to show you the base of it. Um, is It's pretty easy to uh, wipe clean. Uh, I, th I don't know if you could get that wet, but I, I haven't yet. Um, but I've just tried to be very careful about it. It doesn't say... Didn't say don't don't wash it. So uh, anyway, that was that was this, and then it, it all goes back together. 
And of course, these are all, all washable. Come on, you know you want to go back on there. Come on, Peggy. There we go. There seems to be a, a right way and a uh, Peggy way. So anyway, that's uh, that's that I I think for sixty dollars. <laughs> there were ones that were far more expensive, and uh, but I've I've used this probably about um, in the last year. Maybe used it a, a good dozen times uh, for different things that that uh, needed to be dehydrated for for the worms. Uh, when we had our, I guess I guess it has been over a year because. Last year I used it for my tomatoes. I had so many tomatoes that that got ripe, like bam, quickly. Uh, also, I used it for uh, my moringa. Uh, I grow moringa for our health, and um, it you know moringa is a, is a great one of the best plants uh, available to uh, to grow, and. Um, for your health, I want to bring this down a little little bit and just show you. And then, um, so anyway, the um, I, I dehydrated the moringa. I normally lay it out all over the table and then let it dry over a couple days, and then I uh, pulverize it and I use that in our yogurt. Uh, it, you know, there's a lot of people who say, "Well, I have it in my moringa, I have it in my salad, and what have you." Uh, we haven't gotten to that point yet, so. Uh, I'm just still using it powdered, and you can actually buy little uh, little empty capsules and fill them, and then take it like you're taking a daily supplement. So, you know, for anybody who's not taking moringa, you you probably should be. It's really it's high in, in super vitamins, and it's really good for you. Anyway, another day. Uh, the uh, next product is my Nutribullet, and I have had this Nutribullet uh, since I think 2005 maybe 2000, somewhere between 2004 and 2006. You know, you get older and you kind of go, when did I take it? So um, it's it's a wonderful, um, it's a workhorse. And now this I paid uh, $100 for, and I don't know what they run now, but um, I think they're probably pretty, pretty comparable. So uh, I wanted to now take my, uh, potato peels and instead of uh, storing them this way which I could you know I could just put that in a in a bag or something uh, I wanted to, to pulverize it in the Nutribullet now the Nutribullet came with the base which is the motor etc it comes with two two different bases to it and the one base I'll show you this one first. They both come with a rubber gasket. Goes up around there. And if you need to get it off, there's a little divot right there that you can just kind of pull it off. This one, the blades are are down and up. And when you put stuff in there, it'll poof, it'll shoot it up. This one... If you have dried material like your seeds and what have you and you want want to pulverize it in the sense of grind it 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 draws everything down and so now we're going to have our stuff in there let me just put my lid on uh, this also comes with um, two little it comes with one carafe this size and then uh, one that is uh, has a little handle on it like you would want to take your coffee your uh, smoothie or whatever maybe on the road so let's get that on there now this is not quiet so hang on Yeah, you can let that go. What I like to do is I like to just pulse it. 
you know, to get started. I mean, it, it, it goes very quickly. Um, I'll show you the inside. This little thing runs. Again, it's been how many, you know, I've had it for 16, 17 years. And I can't tell you how many times. It, this is the, this is the um, workhorse that ground probably 40 pounds of my Drake elm leaves. So, um, just to show you how that, can you see that? It just pulverizes it down into powder. And then, um, and then this is so easy. Just find your little, there's our little, our divot right here. Get your finger underneath it and pull it out. And it's, uh, it's all dishwasher safe. You know, you can just uh, wash it that way. And again, these are, these little rubbers are, Close to 17, 16, 17 years old, 18 years old, and they're still just as pliable as they've ever been. And it's very easy peasy to to clean. Um, I just I just rinse them off with a little soapy water, and um, and I wipe the inside of this. Uh, there have been a couple times where I, I it overflowed and I kind of made sure I didn't get anything and there's a little hole there. I made sure I kind of rinsed this part and dried it thoroughly and that was, you know, basically it. But, um, it, you know, for if you were going to buy two products, whether you had, uh, were setting up your kitchen and you, and you were a, a cook, uh, or if you wanted to buy a wedding gift for somebody, I think one of these would just be wonderful to uh, teach people some some uh, home skills. Some uh, whether you say you're on a homestead or whether you're just starting out, this these are great. Just two super products um, for for under two hundred dollars, um, you could be set. And if you have um, a compost pile or you have a worm bin or you're just starting out and you're trying to really keep things simple, I think both of these are, are really uh, good products to have. And, I, uh, you know, again, I'm not getting anything from it. I just wanted to pass this on because when I bought them, uh, this one, of course, back in 2004, we didn't have um, uh, Mr. Google at everybody's fingertips, at least not mine, because I didn't even have a cell phone. And uh, so I didn't know. I bought it on faith, and I was so pleasantly surprised. And this one, of course, just getting it last year, I, I just kind of went on Amazon and looked at some reviews, and voila, you know, uh, the Amazon angel brought it to my door, and, uh, you know, and it was here. So anyway... Um, you know, it's not a, a my usual garden what you've got um, segment, but I hope if anybody is looking for um, a, a thumbs, you know, a thumbs up from from anybody, you've got it. So, garden what you've got. I hope you guys will um, watch this till the end and give me a thumbs up. That would be great. And I hope you'll come back and see me again real soon because you know I'll be here. Take care. Bye bye.